morning again as we continue this book of James, which has challenged us and I believe changed us in this time of crisis, which is when James was written. And today I want to take you back to James chapter 5, where we left off last time. And I want to take you down to verse number 4 and verse number 5. And James is speaking to these people, the children of God, that are in this time of crisis where they're losing everything, losing loved ones, people are being put in jail, um, the Roman Emperor Nero is in power, persecuting Christians, it is absolutely out of control. And James is saying, this is how I want you to think in a time of crisis, and we are in a time of crisis today. And with that in mind, I want you to hear this. He says this, Indeed, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which kept you back by fraud, cry out. And the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. You have lived in the earth in pleasure and luxury. You have fattened your hearts as in a day of slaughter. He's speaking to people who have prospered, people who when they have been blessed by God have not done what they should have done with their blessing. They have not treated people the way that they should have been treated and now they're in a time of crisis. And I believe this is something so prophetic to us today. As we read these words, you I'm sorry, as we read these words, indeed the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields. In other words, the ones who served them, the ones who worked for them, that they kept back those wages by fraud. In other words, they did not treat the people who worked for them like they should have treated them. They did not treat the people who served like they should have been treated. And he said, those wages cry out. Who are they crying out to? They're crying out to God, not just that, but it specifically says, the Lord of Sabaoth, the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Now let me tell you this word Sabaoth, don't confuse that with the word Sabbath. It's not talking about the Lord of Sabbath or the Lord of rest. Sabaoth means the Lord of hosts, or it refers to the armies of God. So in other words, this is striking the ears of God, the warrior. And when we understand that when God blesses us, we have responsibility to the people around us, to the people that work for us, that we cannot have this master-slave spirit, that we hold things back to ourselves that have been done to others. We are in a situation today of absolutely racial racial crisis, racial problems. And let me tell you, it's because past wages and past blood and past torments of people are still crying out to the Lord of Sabaoth, the armies of the Lord. And now we're having to fight a battle today that was sown generations back. This is hugely important because not only do we have to understand this, but God's saying, I want you to learn from this. I want you to understand that when I bless you, you have responsibility for that blessing. You have responsibility to take care of what I have given to you, to take care of the people that I put around you, to understand that when God comes with his uh, with his strength, the army of the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of Sabaoth will come back against those who misuse people that are around you. He says, you've lived on the earth in pleasure and luxury, verse 5. You've fattened your hearts as in a day of slaughter. And today God is saying, don't look at yourself, but look outward to others. It may not make sense to you. It may not seem right. You may not understand everything, but there is something generational that God is setting straight in these days. And it is important for us as believers to cry out to the Lord of hosts and say, God of mercy, come and strengthen us that we can shift how things have been in the past so that we can be who you've called us to be. 
in the days to come. Jesus, we cry out today, Lord, in repentance, God, we cry out today with our hearts, Lord Jesus, to set things right in the ways we have treated people around us. Lord, that we would uh, uh, correctly treat and be responsible and pay, God, those who serve and those who work for us, God. But Lord, more importantly than that, that we would see human beings the way that you see them, Lord Jesus. And Lord, that we would not need to pay for the sins of our fathers and that our children wouldn't need to pay for our sins today. But let us walk uprightly before you in how we respond and how we handle these things and what we do. And God, we give this time to you. And Lord, I ask that this weighs on us today and that we keep our attitudes right before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let this sink into you today. And I'll see you tomorrow for another Take 5.